to heck of blame It's much better than train That's not too bad Bitch made It's worth what you pay And it might get you laid Hey everybody, tonight, this morning, whatever it is, I'm going to look over this knife with you. This is the Benchmade 560, The Freak. Take a look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and get on into this. Check this out. What you guys are, one, two, three... Eh, like a 3.6 inch. Now this is where it's really cool. This is a S30V blade. Check that out. I love the way it's shaped. I love the whole thing about this blade. This blade is awesome to me. I like this way it works up here on the thumb ramp. Kind of reminds me of the Rat, the Ontario Rat series where it's kind of offset a little bit. But I like the way this belly sweeps a little I just like the way the belly on this works. And that S30V is not going to give you problems. And this thing is sharp. This thing is sharp as you can't believe. But I'll show you that during the sharpness phase of the video. Alright. Check out the handle. One, two, three, four. A little over four and a half inches of handle. It's going to give you plenty of room. Got no problems getting on that handle. Lots of room left over. So you're good to go. That's not gonna not gonna be an issue for your pinky trying to find space. Now what you have is what they call a Versaflex, overmolded Versaflex here. I'm not sure what this insert is. It feels like that same kind of plasticky plastic they made the old Griptilians out of. I'll have to check that out, or maybe one of y'all know and can put it in the comments down there. Now, as far as grip goes, this thing feels good in your hand like this, and it feels good as far as the way it holds in your hand. So it fills up your hand nicely is what I'm trying to say. But this rubbery feeling on this, why I like it, because it's a little bit different, it feels like it's a little slickery to me. And I might be wrong, and I don't know... If y'all have had that same experience, I haven't watched a bunch of stuff on this. I've just kind of come across this on a, a really good deal. Thank you, sir. And so I picked this up, and I haven't been unhappy with it. I've been flicking this thing thousands of times a day. The blade is just locked up solid. There's nothing going on with this. It's, it's this one. I don't know if all of them are like this, but this thing just drops like a guillotine every time. So the fit and finish on this blade is awesome. The one issue I do have is that rubberized Versaflex that they put in there. Let's keep going, we'll talk about that more in a second. Now you do have reversible clip here. So right, left, tip up, that's good. Substantial lanyard hold, wasn't any problem getting this Titan cord through there. So if you want a lanyard, and I do, you can get that going, not a problem. got the access lock of course this one's just locked up solid there's nothing going on here and Benchmade has got that access lock nailed of course it's running on washers in there if you can see that let's see if we can get a good good look at that probably not my camera wants to die let me die let me go into the light you're not going to the light yet Ethel 
you will perform your duties till told not to. All right, so it's got a little bit halfway open construction. About half, was that? Yeah, pretty close. It's not gonna be too hard to clean out if you got problems in there. It has, let's see what kind of liners are in there. Looks like a little bit of stainless liners right up to about here and then it's just all plastic construction through the rest of it I believe that's true if it's not true you can get with me now it's really light and it feels great in the hand like I said so I'm gonna get into the I'm gonna weigh it real quick and then we'll talk about the rubberized portion of this thing each mess over here all right here's the weight on this bad boy now this thing cuts everything I use this to cut everything I've been opening boxes with it cut down some boxes haven't had any problems with the blade and I got it and the guy that I bought it from had razor laser sharpened it or whatever and this thing will this thing will shave a lizard this thing is locked up all right so here we go European folks 113 grams not bad for the American folks in the room, 3.88. We gotta remember the fro, so let's just call it, you know, 3.75, 3.7, whatever. So right in that 3.7, 3.8 range. This is a really usable, EDCable knife. Now some people have had an issue with this, like a, with this rubberized portion and putting it in your pocket and it kind of sticking to your material or whatnot. I haven't had that problem. And I think unless you're trying to quick draw McGraw it over and over again, that's not really going to be a problem. But if you're looking for, you know, menial little problems or menial little issues you might have with it, that could be a problem if, if you're one of these kind of people that where it is catching on your pocket a little bit. You know how rubber thing kind of just, instead of just slicking in, it kind of just goes in like so. But like I said, I've carried this all week. Have not had an issue with it. And I haven't had an issue with lockup. Haven't had an issue with lock stick. Haven't had an issue with anything except for this one thing. And I'm going to show you right now. The problem I have is the slickery feeling of this. Now I want you to watch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vice like world class pincers here. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to pull. Yeah, there's going to be blood most likely. So stay tuned, children. I'm going to pull on the thumb studs and see if I can get this to move out of my fingers here. Now this is this is me squeezing and see it just wants to go. It's just a it's not a real grippy it's grippy in that it's got contours and it has a grippy type feeling to it and I don't know I don't think it's gonna turn your hand and if you got a iron hammer grip on it it's not going anywhere but it just feels a little slippery for some more intricate work kind of thing. Like, I, I don't know what it would be a problem with. It just, that that's the way it feels. It feels like it wants to leave my hand. And even when I'm opening it, I have to, I'm thinking I can't get a, a good purchase there with my fingers. But I've never had a problem with it. I, I'm going to tell you right that I've never had a problem with it falling or flicking out or slipping out or anything like that but let me bring a grip out here and I'll show you what I'm talking about also this will give us a chance to see how a grip compares in size and whatnot all right so here I'm gonna grab this one by the <clears throat> spidey hole and see if I can pull and this isn't even the really textured g10 here this is the smoothed out g10 of this the uh, version of the grip. I figure this is the 555 or whatever it is. I don't know numbers. Alright, here we go. Now look, I can hold on to that thing really well and that's the smooth out G10. So, alright, I'm... <clears throat> alright, let's try that again over here. Maybe I'm just... No, this... This doesn't want to hold... You can't... Ow! Ow! Ow, girl! Girl, Jimmy Slash, that hurt! Ugh. All right, but you can see the size comparisons if you have a grip. 
me check that out. They're very similar as far as length, and and I like I like the sweep on both of them, and I I can't call which blade I like more. I really like this grip blade, and I love the <clears throat> spidey hole on this. It still doesn't want to lock down though. Man, I think every once in a while, whoo -hoo, my fingertips. So that's the one, and I don't know if it's a tiny issue for you. It's a tiny issue for me because I continue to carry this thing. It just, in the back of my mind, it's kind of eating at me that maybe this is a little bit slickery, and I'm not sure in what case, because if you're getting boxes, you're gonna have a good good purchase. You're not gonna have anybody yanking on this end of a knife, but in a more detailed cut environment, or you might be putting a little pressure on here, and it might cause you to grip a little extra harder just to not slip your fingers off of this thing. You'd have to feel it to kind of understand it. It, The way it's textured, the way it looks on camera, it looks like it should be just locked into a grip, but it just feels kind of, kind of slippery. However, overall, if you can find a good deal on this knife, you got to get it. And you won't be unhappy. That, that one little issue with the pocket, man, that's not going to stop you from buying it. And the issue with it being a little bit slippery, I don't think that's going to stop you. It wouldn't stop me from buying this. I would buy this knife a hundred times over, especially for what I paid for it. If you can get this thing on a secondhand market for a good deal, grab it. You won't be unhappy, especially if you're a Benchmade fan and you like the access lock and you like the smooth opening. It's definitely a keeper. I won't be getting rid of it. And it's, and you know what? It's a user. That's what's kind of cool about this. This is I don't like using my Benchmates. I just I'm afraid of them, especially my higher end Griptilians or you know what? Even my Adamus I was afraid of. And I got that Beater Adamus. I'm gonna I've been carrying that every once in a while. So waiting for the right situation, we're gonna tackle a polar bear. So. Let me just show you a real quick cut test on this, and we'll get out of here. Ooh, Smith Thompson, make the switch in home security. Look at that. Oh, curly cues are coming. Look at this. It's like a laser. So this thing, that S30V takes an edge. Haven't had any issues with rolling or chipping or anything, but I haven't done anything horrible to it yet. Or and probably won't. All right, so let me know what you think. Like here, subscribe down here, leave a comment. Is this in your wheelhouse? Is this something that's on your list that you're thinking about getting? If it's not, you might want to. If you got right around hundred nine to a hundred bucks, this is definitely something that's not going to leave you feeling empty inside for buying it. I guess that's it. Hey, get over to Facebook. Some excellent conversations going on over there. Lots of good people having fun and, and showing what they have and showing their knives and different things going on. It really is cool. Again, if you're not on Facebook, there's plenty going to go on here. Videos coming and whatnot. And I will talk to you all later.